Hello party people. On my birthday haul video, if you haven't seen it, you can see it um, somewhere up here. I showed off this, um, this lovely lady that I got. I, like anyone else, am a sucker for these Karen cakes. And I mentioned that I was going to try to find a pattern to make with just this guy and then share it with you. All right, and I've tried to make clothing before. Um, I don't think there's enough here to make, let me see, how much? Yes, yeah, so there's 530 yards in this bad boy. I could try to make like a crop top or something like that, but um, like I already look washed out enough in this um, sweater that I should have changed out of for this video. But I think this is just like a little too light for me. The pattern I found was on Ravelry by Heather Moore. I'll link it below. It's um, it's titled Universal Corner Net, published on The Roving Nomad, which I think is her blog. So you can purchase um, an ad-free printable version of this pattern on therovingnomad.com, which I will also link below. Um, I'm just gonna follow along on the website though because there is a free pattern on the website. So if you wanna follow along with this one, you can really use any yarn for this as long as you have enough, which I think enough would just be probably more than 100 yards. It's the smallest that I think would work. So just any yarn and then the the crochet hook that corresponds with whatever yarn you're using. So this is, um, it's a medium weight yarn. It's a little thin for a medium weight. It's just like, it's just barely, like I know the number is more than um, the actual name. So it's just barely like a four, almost a three. And it recommends using a five millimeter hook. But I'd say don't sweat it for this one because um, the proportions wouldn't matter as much as um, like, a, like a bralette or something like that. So yeah, I think this will be a great um, beginner friendly project if you are following along and it's something I've never made before and something that I could use in my room. I think I'll put it up here on this corner and uh, display my lovely stuffy boys for everyone to see. I'm excited. This is the face of excitement. Let's do it. So I usually always start yarn from the middle of the skein right here, but someone told me that these cakes are designed so that you can just um, unwrap them easily from the front. So that's what I'm gonna try to do for this pattern. This might get annoying. I'm not gonna film this whole process because the pattern does repeat. Like any project, I'm going to leave a tail and uh, put the yarn on the thing. This pattern starts with a chain four. and then a slip stitch to form a ring. So it might be kind of hard to see, but I do have my little ring here. All right, so now we have our foundation and we can start with row one, which is four chains again. And this will count as a double crochet and chain one at the beginning of every row. So now we are working into the ring, which is a little hard to find, but it's right here. So I need to double crochet. And chain one. And um, I like to work over my ends so that they're easier to weave in at the end of the project. So I'm just going to line it up with my work as I go around to kind of cement that tail in there so I don't have to worry about it as much later. So anyway, that was, um, this row is chain four, double crochet, and then chain one, and a double crochet again. And then without chaining, we can go ahead and turn our work. So we should have um, the loop right here and then three posts with chain with um, a chain between each. So we're looking good so far. Okay, for row two, we are chaining four again. 
doing a double crochet in this first chain space. So it really is working in like a net or a mesh configuration. So as long as you keep that in mind, you should be good on the, um, on the shapes that you should be making. And then we chain one to make another chain space for the next row and then double crochet in the second chain space. Right, we chain one again. And then to make sure that the rows are always multiplying, we will double crochet again, but not in a space. We will go for the third chain on the end of this loop. This is the loop that we started from at the beginning and you can see we went from two chain spaces to three. So that's the end of row two and we will turn. All right, chain four once again. And you may have gotten a hang of it by now. And if not, no problem, Bob. Double crochet in the first chain space or the first, um, the first square, the first space, however you wanna think about it. And chain, double crochet in the next space. And chain, double crochet in the next space. Chain, and then again, once we get to the end, Double crochet in that third chain from when you started the last row. And there we see our triangle is getting bigger and bigger and we are doing an amazing job. So the pattern does repeat like this until um, you are sick and tired of it <laughs> or it's the right size um, that you need. All right, and after I got the hang of it, I turned on a stream from one of my favorite streamers, Nicola Tessa. Please go follow her on Twitch. I'll put a link in the description. And I was pretty happy with how fast this worked up. It took maybe, I don't know, two hours to get to this point, just at a leisurely pace with some entertainment in the background. And it's always the best part of every project with this kind of yarn when it changes colors. And as the sun was setting blindingly into my window, I think I got the length that I wanted. Can you tell that it's been a month since I filmed the first part of that video? Anyway, I uh, just hung it up. <laughs> but she looks pretty good, huh? She holds everybody. Here are some delicious close-up shots. And I will go get it down before I talk about it because I forgot to film this before I found it in my closet and uh, hung it up. Yeah, 
Here she is. Yes, I am too lazy to weave the ends in. They will be remaining like this for the end of time. So I'm pretty proud of how it came out, I think. It looks really weird off the wall. Look how high-waisted this would be if <laughs> this was... This could be a bodysuit. That's how, like... Ooh, actually... Yeah, so it's just, it's very long. I feel like it was supposed to be more of an equilateral triangle. So that was probably user error, but if I make this again with this yarn and that hook, I will probably add two chain spaces between each net. And I feel like that will make it a little bit wider. You probably saw that I hung it up a little differently than it's supposed to be hung up because I have that closet door there and I wanna be able to open it. So it's just like the execution is a little wonky but I think it turned out pretty great. It is the perfect size to hold my like seven stuffies that I have up here. Sorry guys. And the pattern I was following had tassels on the end, but I didn't want to go through the hassle of the tassels. So what I did, let's see if I can remember what I did. So on the last row, I just went across with two single crochets and then in the third stitch, I did a single crochet, a double crochet, single crochet, all in the same stitch to kind of get this little bobble kind of thing. If I try this again and perfect the pattern, maybe I will do a completely beginner-friendly tutorial. Let me know if you'd want to see that or if you want to see any tutorials for any other kind of things. Once again, the pattern I used is in the description. And if you did follow along in this video or you just want to show me anything that you've ever crocheted, tag me on Instagram or send me a DM on Instagram and I would just be happy to see that. Any more crochet friends? Will this ever be hung back up? Who knows? If I don't do it now, I'm never gonna do it. All right, there they are. One big happy family. These guys sleep with me, so unfortunately they are not allowed to nap up there. If you enjoyed this video, like it if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see more, comment some random gibberish or something. I enjoyed having you here, they enjoyed having you here, and I hope you have a wonderful day.